Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today's topic is Kaveri Engine. India's aerospace sector has made an important step forward with the approval of Kaveri Engine for in-flight testing. This is a key moment in the development of India's own jet engines. The Kaveri Engine has gone through many ground tests and changes recently. It now provides a dry thrust of about 49 to 51 kN, which is good for UAVs. There are plans to add an afterburner to increase the thrust uh, to 73 to 75 kN for more demanding flights. After many tests, including high attitude tests in Russia and trials in India, the engine is now ready for in flight testings. The next step is to attach it to flying uh, test bed to see how it performs during real flights and how it works with the aircraft systems. This is a big deal for Indian defense as it reduces the need for foreign engines and it helps the country become more independent in defense technology. The Kaveri project shows India's goal of improving its aerospace industry and military strength. Although the achievement is very important, there are still challenges. The engine needs to prove it can handle long flights and work efficiently. The DRDO and the GTRE are also working on its upgraded version Kaveri 2.0, which aims to meet or exceed current standard used by the Indian Air Force. Now let's look into the characteristics of these um, aircraft engines. The type is after burning turbofan, the length is around 349 cm, diameter is 90.9 cm, tri weight is 1180 kg. The components include uh, compressors that is uh, two spool with low pressure and high pressure, then uh, combustors, annular with a dumb diffuser and uh, air blast fuel atomicis, and then the turbine one LP stage and one HP stage. The performance is like maximum thrust military 52 kN and uh, special fuel consumption is like military 0.78 lb and then thrust to weight ratio is 6.9 and airflow is 78 kg uh, per second and bypass ratio is uh, uh, 16 and 1. Thanks for watching my video.